the corset or the Matisse? Which will it be? Hmm, that's a hard one to decide. Welcome back to a mommy review where I review all things for the love of and today I'll be going over this or that. I'm heading to the Louis Vuitton store today to check out the corset and also the Matisse which are infamously two very popular bags at Louis Vuitton. So in this particular video I want to look at both bags and see their similarities and differences and maybe decide on whether to go with the corset or the Matisse. So let's go on the shopping journey by heading to the website to start off with and then we'll go back to the store and see the real thing. So the corset is $2,500 Canadian. I'm looking at the Canva version of it. It's a beautiful bag and when you look here, the it has a textile lining and a gold color hardware and an S lock, which I'm not really sure what it is. So I'm going to go check it out. It does have a removable tassel and a handle. Um, it's just a single handle. The strap drops around 22 inches and the dimension of the bag is 9.8 by 6.7 by 3.7 inches. It does come in a various uh, types of code coated canva including the Demir event which is one that i really love but we'll see what we see in store so we can compare the difference between that and also the infamous matisse which has been all over social media to be known as the it bag i'm hoping the corset will be a good alternative compared to the matisse which is currently priced at three thousand two hundred and fifty dollar canadian and i'm looking at the Canva version, which is always unavailable. i um, hoping I can find it in the store this time when I'm heading over, but we'll see how my luck is. But it looks so cute. Looks like you can put lots of uh, items in there because of multi-compartment that is like accordion style. The price difference is around $750 compared to Corset and it's 9.8 by 7.5 by 2.8 inches. So I'm hoping that the Matisse, first of all, will live up to the standard in being the most amazing bag that will fit everything that you need and maybe a little bit more, which I think will probably be better from a mommy point of view if in general it's better to have more, be able to fit more in the bag than less. But then again, like the quad set is quite reasonably priced and I think it looks a little bit more a ladylike whereas the Matisse looks like a little bit more business casual type of bag however um, I think I'll just have to see what I can get um, I know that the Matisse comes in an emperor leather as well so maybe when I go to the store if I can't see the Canva at least maybe I can ask for the leather version and compare the sizing between the two because that might particularly be one of the deciding factors for me so let's head back to the store. So the first thing that the sales associate showed me was a corset and it was available in the azure color. And I love this color. I'm just really worried about the color transfer. It is an absolutely stunning bag that I think is a total showstopper. And here's the S-shaped lock. You basically push on one of the knobs and it kind of clicks off. Inside is this beautiful light ballerina, light pink interior along with an extra leather strap that goes on the inside, but it's all one compartment and then you can click. Oh, this is actually much harder than I thought to kind of click the bag shut again. I think it might be a two hand job, which might be a no, no for me given for a mommy's point of view, I really want a bag to kind of like be easy for me to shut without needing both hands. We'll see. But there's the tassel that it comes with, which I don't know if I would necessarily use. I think I prefer without any tassel or see, like I mentioned, it's a little bit hard to close the bag with one hand, but there you go. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll use the tassel, but one of the things people mentioned that if you get the bag, make sure that um, the pattern 
lines up perfectly and you can see that this one it lines up pretty nice on the bottom as well you can see there's no feet on the bottom so i don't know how the wear will be like for this bag if you were to use it from day to day uh, over a long period of time and then you can see the back it lines up okay as well so that's one thing that people mention about examining for the bag to make sure the pattern lines up but you can see the handle is a lot more structured compared to the Matisse that I'll be showing you in a sec. Yes, they did have a Matisse for me to check out. So the S-shaped lock, it's a little bit hard to handle, but it does work. Um, I mean, it, it does work, but you may have to use two hands. I imagine I might scratch this more easily over time. Um, there is a slip pocket in the back, doesn't have a zipper on it, but um, there is a slip pocket and this one is made in France, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I know that in Canada, we've been getting a lot more bags that are made in the US, which I find the quality is just not as good, uh, but it's really maybe the luck of the draw for me, so I'm really excited to find this one that's made in France. It's pretty cute. I can see myself using the top handle and just not even using the strap. Of course, make, I think it will make it look more ladylike and um, maybe for more fancy occasions. So really, it's a beautiful, very lovely bag and it has this one compartment inside so you can kind of stuff more things in um, as opposed if they were to compartmentize it and you might not have as much space. But definitely, it's not something that's accordion style that you can stretch to fit more inside. Like the size is basically what you see. However, with the removable strap, I think it would be nice if you get a gold chain as well to kind of switch it up and make it more fancy as an alternate option. What do you guys think? Do you like the croissant more so far? So here is, surprise, the Matisse. So the Matisse uh, was something that the sales associates showed me. Unfortunately, they didn't have the Canva version, but like I mentioned before, I would just as happy to see the leather version just to compare the sizing. You can see the Matisse is actually quite a bit bigger in terms of width wise and also because I mentioned it's accordion style it can open up which I'll show you in a sec. Here you can see this button sorry maybe I'll show you inside first it's just the lining there there's a slip pocket in the back and it has a divider in the middle and then another strap inside and here is the accordion sides and an extra zipper pocket which can come in very handy when you have like just receipts or just things you want quick access to just throw it in the zipper pocket in the back which is very exciting for me I see that here on the top you can see the top handle is not as structured as the corset that you saw earlier and also the lock closure is looks a little bit different it's a click lock but also as shape in that if you hold on to one of the sides of the knobs it will click oops anyways let me try to put this up so that you can see side by side how they look like so you can see the corset is actually quite a bit smaller and it's not accordion style so it's actually quite a big significant difference the matisse is a little bit taller and longer on the side but I think it really depends on functionality, what you plan on putting in it, if you are more of a minimalist or you like to kind of pack all things or like what kind of occasion you foresee using the bag a little um, more into. Like I would see the Matisse looks a little bit more day to day to me. It doesn't look like a fancy bag that I would take out for like a night out or anniversary with my hubby. But I, does, I do think it's a very good fit-all bag that you can use for work or perhaps day-to-day. -day. It is a little bit heavier, but I think it's because I'm looking at the leather version. I imagine if it was the Canva, it'll probably be a little bit lighter, but the leather one is actually quite a bit heavier when I compare it to the Quasat and the Canva. It is a very beautiful bag, though. I can see why a lot of people like it because you can fit so much inside. It's not leather lining on the inside, which could be a good or a bad thing. But I'm 
just not a fan of the closure at this point. I find that it's difficult to do one hand, which is something that I prefer if I could. They're both, I think, prefer to be more crossbody, but I like how the quest set is a little bit more dainty and cute, but not like a total um, miniature bag like we've had seen the trends of late. And then they both have this little flap on the closure, the gold hardware closure on the top, which I assume is for you to get a handle on it so that it's easier for you to close the bag. But you can see the Matisse also has a removable strap, which you can, I guess, make it a little bit more fancy and dress it up with different types of dress straps but i i don't know if i'll necessarily dress up this bag as much hmm, but i think that's about all i want to show you guys for today so what do you think about these two bags do would you go for the corset or the matisse which do you think will be the best investment bag versus like a more functional bag i'd love to get your opinion because i really still can't decide between the two but I think if I given the choice, I'll probably prefer the Canva. Well, if you enjoy these types of video, please consider like and subscribing. It really helps the channel. That's it for now for my mommy review, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye now.